Hi, I'm Michael Leary. Uh, I'm, I'm a pickleball player and wheelchair pickleball player, and I'm here to talk about the general rules of pickleball. Basically, it's a racket sport played with paddles and a wiffle ball. Uh, you can either play singles or doubles. Score games are scored up to uh, 11. 11 points wins the game, but you must win by two points. When playing pickleball, you start off with a server. The ball has to bounce on the returning team's side before they can hit the ball back to, to the serving team. The ball has to bounce on the serving team's side before they can return the ball. After that, it's fair game. You can hit the ball out of the air or after a bounce. One thing you have to watch out for is stepping into the non-volley zone, hitting the ball out of the air. You cannot do that. Uh, the non-volley zone is also known as the kitchen. Uh, when you step on the li kitchen line or go into the kitchen, um, you hit, if you hit the ball out of the air, this is considered a fault. You can go into the kitchen after the ball bounces and return the ball to your opponents. And remember, that's how I roll. So part of the game, why um, it's also uh, so attractive is because of the court size. So a lot of people converting pickleball courts. So a lot of people say it's a, it's a combination of badminton, table tennis, and tennis. And the court size is about the size of a badminton court. So you can get about two to four courts on each tennis court. So you usually see a lot more people on the pickleball court than you do on the tennis courts. And some of the, you know, the, the rules are a little bit different than the other sports. So when you serve, the receivers have to let the ball bounce on their side first before they can hit the ball out of the air. And when they return the ball, the server also has to let it bounce first before they can take it out of the air. And then, then the, it's game on. You can take it out of the air or not, except when you get to the kitchen. And that's something different about pickleball is that we have a kitchen line seven feet from the net. And we can't take the ball out of the air uh, when any closer than the kitchen line. Like tennis, you can run up to the net. You can't in pickleball. So with the wheelchair and stand-up, that's a little bit of difference because for myself, a stand-up player, I've got to make sure I don't step on the line when I take the ball out of the air or it's a fault. And how's that different when you're in a wheelchair? Well, with a wheelchair, the construction of, of the chair, we have a set of small wheels at the front. They're called caster wheels. They're very small. Those wheels are allowed to touch the kitchen line or cross over the kitchen line when we hit a volley or a ball out of the air. Uh, the, the rear, the back wheels, the large wheels, are not. So if I, my large wheels, hit the kitchen line or cross over the kitchen line when I make contact with the ball out of the air before it has bounced, that's a fault. The, the large wheels are my feet. The other major difference with wheelchair uh, uh, rule-wise is that we are allowed two bounces. We can hit the ball after a second bounce and that does apply to even a second bounce that goes outside the court lines. Okay, I didn't know that. As one. long as the first ball bounces, bounce in the court, second bounce out, it's still, it's still fair game. Yeah, and I know, like for, for yourself playing, that you try to still take it always on one bounce if you can. I prefer to. The first bounce is is a higher bounce. The pickleball is a plastic ball, and it doesn't bounce, say, like a tennis ball right. would. So the second bounce with a pickleball is lower. It's a more difficult shot for me to have a, a put away shot, for example. Um, so first, first bounce is easier, but I recommend that people take advantage of the second bounce when they need to, in particular in the kitchen. Uh, it, it, that's when they're more than likely going to take advantage of a, a second bounce. And then with scoring, the one last thing that's a little different is in pickleball, there's three numbers that are part of your score. So you always say your score first as the server and your opponent's score. And then the third number is whether you're the first server on your team or the second one. So for an example, if we're playing together and our, we have two points, our opponents have one. And Mike, you're serving first, right? You, the score would be two, one, one. 
So we set our score first, then our opponents, and then you're the first server for the team. So it's a little different than other sports. So in summary, I'd, I'd like to thank everyone for following me in my videos. Uh, I, I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope it's been helpful and possibly you have learned a few things and everyone can adapt and learn and play and have fun. And uh, just uh, want to thank you all again. And remember, that's, this is how I roll.